Hey everybody, so today we're going to show you how to change the oil and the filter on the 2008 Ducati Sport 1000. We've already gone ahead and let our bike idle for a little bit so our oil is nice and warm. First step to do this is we're going to remove the magnetic drain plug which is located on the bottom of your motorcycle. Um, right here if you can see it. This is going to need a number 10 Allen. If you have a socket that'll work even better. So we'll go ahead and remove this and drain our oil into the pan. Alright, so now you'll see on our drain plug here, it's got this top piece and this part. This is actually a magnet, so that catches any little chunks of metal that are coming off your engine that's just normal wear and tear. Um, any small like fuzz like this is fine. If you start seeing any large particles or anything like that, you may want to check your compressions or take it into a dealer. Alright, so now that our oil is draining, what we're going to do is remove the oil filter, which is going to be right next to your exhaust pipe on here. Um, you need a special socket. If you don't have it, you could always just get on there with a pair of hogs or something. But we'll go ahead and use the filter wrench. Break it loose. So now that both those are out, what we're going to do is take our motorcycle and put it in the upright position so that way all the oil finds its way to the drain plugs. Okay, so all our oil has drained out. We're going to go ahead and start to put our bike back together. Um, what we're going to do is pre-charge our oil filter, which means basically we're just going to put some oil in it so that way once we start the bike up, there's less air in the system. Got it get blood out. Now with some of that oil we're also going to lube up this o-ring so it seals good and then we will install this on the bike. Alright, so we're going to tighten that down, but not over tighten it. Now that our oil filter is in and torqued down, we're going to go ahead and reinstall our drain plug. We've gone ahead and cleaned it up. Um, you'll notice that this does have a crush washer. If yours is in good condition like ours was, you don't need to replace it, but if you pull it off and it's marred up or damaged, you're going to want to replace that or else you're going to get an oil leak. So we'll put that back on and we'll reinstall this. And now what we need to do is torque it down. Um, the manual is going to call out for 42 newton meters. If your torque wrench doesn't convert into newton meters, it's going to be 31 foot pounds. So we're all back together, the um, last step we're going to do is to service our oil itself. So we're going to take this drain cap off, I'm sorry, the fill port here, stick a funnel in. Now this bike takes 3.9 liters of oil, which is the equivalent to about 4 and an eighth quarts. So we will go ahead fill this. Alright, so we have just about filled our oil here, a little bit left. You'll notice once you start to get close, you're going to start to see oil rise up into your sight glass. Now you're not going to want to go off that yet, because what we're going to need to do is run the bike and get the air out and then Make sure 
the motorcycle is upright. Alright, so oil is serviced, we'll put the cap on, and then the last thing we need to do is just start it up and recheck our oil level.